Okay, so this is a German. This is Johann Matheson. Yeah. Now, did did he say that some Italian violinist or some com- Italian had the best alemans? Yeah, actually, uh, Matheson said that you know in uh, in the in his book, the Vollkommene Kapellmeister, the perfect Kapellmeister, he says mentions Hendon and Michele Maschitti, who is oh. the Neapolitan who moved to Paris has the best examples of Alemand that you can find. Uh, and this, I mean, Handel, yeah, of course, Handel. Uh, that's Michele Maschitti. Who is this guy? Yeah. Never heard that name in my life. Right, right. right. <laughs> and, uh, and in fact, Maschitti, I mean, Mattison is certainly an authority in this, and he was a contemporary of, of both, so uh, very uh, reliable and authoritative uh, source, uh, but we can judge the, the popularity of Michele Maschitti in France by the fact that he was um, also able to print and, and publish nine collections of sonatas in his life. He had a long life, certainly, almost centenary, but the fact that he published nine collections of sonatas is astonishing for the time. Collections, uh, not nine sonatas, collections. Yeah, nine collections of sonatas. Uh, so, and, and, and if you think that, you know, uh, printing, uh, publishing a, a collection of sonatas was expensive at the time, it was not a, an enterprise that uh, musicians wanted to do very often because they um, distribute and let circulate this music uh, manuscript. And this music was performed and sometimes uh, even performed once and then uh, you, you go on, you, you play and, and perform and, and write more music. Uh, Mashiti instead published this huge uh, number of collections and at certain point of his life, uh, Toward the beginning, uh, when he published Opus 2 and Opus 3, we think it's very likely that he didn't need uh, any uh, patronage, any aristocratic support, monetary, financial support to publish, uh, which means that he was selling his music very, very widely in Paris. So this is the popularity of Maschitti. Mm-hmm. He was really... And we have, you know, um, uh, composers and musicians, uh, uh, contemporary saying, you know, uh, we are at the end of the 18th century and Maschitti is still popular. He still has been played in in aristocratic circles. We have been denied these composers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this, yeah. is, we, this is criminal. We, we have- we have now some collection, some some sorry, some uh, recordings. Uh, luckily, uh, we it's like Galuppi. To... I've never heard of the pianist Galuppi. So this is yeah. now the violinists. Now this is like this is fantastic. You you're saying about the recordings? Yeah, uh, Opus Eight and Opus Nine of Maschitti uh, has been recorded uh, by the Quartetto Vanvitelli. They they did a very good job in uh, in uh, doing these two recordings. And several sonatas have been recorded in other, you know, single sonatas in other collections. So um, it's certainly a composer that needs to be rediscovered. He yes. was um, he was the first. One of this collection contains the first example of concertos, concerti grossi, to be sure, but the first collection of concertos in Paris. So I mean, it's not it's not a secondary guy. Uh, Matheson was right. Uh, Handel and the city, you know, the, the the connection is is important there. Can I but, just ask? Oh, yeah. sorry, sorry. You no, you're saying no. Just just saying that there is still a lot of work to be done. I mean, there is still a lot of music that uh, we are rediscovering that needs to be performed and uh, uh, is available. So I mean. Uh, the work is ju- has just started, in a sense. Unfortunately, because I mean, it's incredible because there's been already mm. some decades of work, but uh, but there is still a lot to be to be done.